Hi guys, it's Sandy. So I want to get on here and talk about my weight loss journey. So I lost between 15 to 18 pounds, and that just depends on the day, what the scale says, you know, how they fluctuate and why, why I'm not so worried about what the scale says anymore. I'm worried about how my clothes fit and how I feel. So I couldn't get my weight off at all. I had turned 50. It seemed like a lot of things changed for me and I started putting on weight, but I kept doing all the things that I know to do. I eat healthy um, most of the time. You know, it's okay if I have treats or something every once in a while, that's fine. But I eat healthy most of the time. And I was getting on the Peloton and just doing the bike workouts a ton and none of the weight was coming off. And I actually had gotten to the point at one point and I was just like, I guess I'm just going to have to buy a bigger size because I cannot get this weight off. But then I heard a podcast and it was Jen Stevens talking about intermittent fasting. And it, she just popped up on my YouTube. I was listening to one day and I, she intrigued me. And that's what started my journey. So I have got three things, the top three things that helped me to lose the weight worked for me. I think something's going to work for you also. If you're at that frustrated point, don't be frustrated because maybe these will work for you too. So number one, the absolute that did the most for me was intermittent fasting. So one thing about it is I didn't want to take certain food groups out of my life and I wanted to still enjoy life. <laughs> so I didn't want to be too restrictive on these special diets. Intermittent fasting is not a diet. It is a lifestyle. It is a time restricted eating. That's all it is. So it's eating in a certain amount of hours. For me, I did 16 and eight. I fasted for 16 hours a day. I ate in an eight hour window. It absolutely worked. Rather than eating all day long from the time I get up until the time I went to bed, having, you know, lunch, dinner, snacks, different things throughout, um, I did it instead in an eight hour window, feeling very full and satisfied. And I started losing weight. Now, it didn't happen quick for me. <laughs> so if it hasn't happened, some people, some of you guys have commented and you're like, I'm down 20 pounds in two months. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Not me. It was slow. I also was doing it wrong in the beginning and I was doing a dirty fast instead of a clean fast. If you're not sure what that is, I'll put the video um, that I did on that uh, up in up here somewhere <laughs> and in the description also so that you can watch that video. So I switched to a clean fast that made all the difference for me when I started drinking plain water. Uh, it's plain black coffee and plain black and green tea. But intermittent fasting absolutely worked for me beyond weight loss though is my uh clothes started fitting really good weight loss <laughs> but i also think part of that was the inflammation that was leaving my body my face was slimming down not just from weight but from inflammation and i've said before if my my face was i'm um, slimming down and i could see the inflammation gone think what the inside of me was doing it was just getting healthier too my thumb stopped hurting my husband started doing it and he has actually um, cut his blood pressure in half, or his blood pressure medicine. <laughs> he has cut his blood pressure medicine in half and is maintaining really well. And the only thing he switched was he stopped eating breakfast and he started eating later in the day within a time frame. I personally do the 16-8 where I, my eight hour time frame is between either 10 and six or 11 and 7 p.m. Right in there, it just fluctuates because this is a lifestyle and it's very flexible. It's free and it's flexible. And those are two big things I wanted along with, I didn't want to be too restrictive. I still wanted to enjoy life, but I needed to do it in a more sensible way. The weight started coming off and this is a lifestyle I'm not going to give up. Now I don't do it every single day now because I'm really comfortable where I am with my body now. Um, my clothes fit really good again. So I'm not trying to actually lose weight. Now I'm trying to maintain where I am and I actually feel so much better doing it. I want to stick with it. But some days I don't, you know, some days I'm just like, Hey, I'm hungry and it's 8 AM. I'll eat. And it, it's no big deal. The next day I'll get back and do my 16 and eight. It's a really, really flexible lifestyle, but it worked for me. Number two is I started lifting weights. So I was doing all this cardio. I was on the bike. I was just working, 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 working on the bike all the time. And I wasn't losing any weight. Do I think a bike's good? Yeah. The Peloton classes were great and they were really fun, but I wasn't losing any weight. <laughs> so it wasn't helping me. And then I realized I needed to start doing some resistance training. So at least three days a week, normally, I will lift weights. 
So I will still take walks because I think walking is great for me, for my body. I still take walks. Not, not always. If I'm doing one workout, I don't do two in a day. I don't go for a walk and do resistance training. But um, resistance training, adding that to me, it took me from being a skinny fat where I was losing the weight, but I wasn't toning. It's helping me tone up. I've actually lost an inch here and across my stomach, or my hips. I've lost an inch all the way down. And I know it's from resistance training. And because I'm still eating in that eight hour window and feeling good and adding the resistance training and I'm losing the inches that I needed to lose. I feel more tone. And that was important to me. Um, because let me tell you, if you don't use your muscle, you will lose your muscle. You have to build the muscle. And I'm not talking like, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger build. I'm just saying you have to keep that muscle working so that your body keeps working and functioning and you can age with grace that way. Number three, most important thing that I did was carb cycling. I didn't even know what that was <laughs> until I learned what it was. What that did for me is it took my body kind of out of plateau. After about five months, my body is just plateaued and I wasn't really losing any more weight. It's because it got used to it. You have to switch things up or your body gets used to it. So I started two days a week eating low carb and the rest of the day of the week eating regular carb. And that really helped my body kind of jumpstart me again into that weight loss that I needed to get into. Now, you know meat, obviously. You can eat meat, low carb vegetables, low carb fruits. So I ate a lot of zucchini, cucumbers, celery, uh, salad greens, cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, you know, those kind of things. I like to get my carbs from fruits and vegetables mostly. And then um, fruits would be a lot of berries on those days. Then on the other days is when I enjoyed apples and oranges and mangoes. I ate them on my regular carb days. So I, again, I said I wasn't into restricting. I mean, into eating good food, but not, you know, healthy food, the ones that God made, but not restricting so much. So because I want to enjoy life still. So if I want a treat every once in a while, I have it. I want a sandwich for lunch. I have them quite a bit. I just choose better bread, you know, to have. I don't choose that stuff you find in the bread aisle, <laughs> um, except for Dave's Killer Bread. That's a good one. That's a good one in the bread aisle. But anyway, what I want to say is those were three things that were very effective for me that I really think could work for you too. So intermittent fasting, that was number one, best thing I did. Number two, adding weight training in, some kind of resistance training. I also love my rebounder. I got one. I love it. That's so much fun to do. So that's a nice cardio thing I've added. And number three, carb cycling. So I think one of those are going to help you too. Took all three for me, might for you too. So that's all I wanted to share until next time.